Why is it so important for children to become strong writers? One of the reasons that it's important for kids to become strong writers is that writing is the primary way in schools that teachers assess students' knowledge about subject matter areas. Writing's also a very powerful tool for learning. If you write about something you're learning in chemistry, in biology, in social studies, in the language arts, it helps you understand it better and it helps you remember it better. It's also become increasingly important to be a good writer because most jobs once you leave uh, high school and move into college or beyond now require that you write well. It's an entry skill for obtaining good jobs, salary jobs, and it's also an important skill in terms of promotion as well. And what kind of weaknesses are you noticing in students? Okay. Is this an issue that students aren't strong writers? About two out of every three kids in the U.S. don't write well enough to meet grade level demands which is, when you think about it, it's a staggering uh, statistic. And this is all the way from fourth grade through eighth grade through twelfth grade. Uh, national tests show that many kids just do not write well enough. And why do you think that is? Well, I think there's a couple of reasons for that. One, writing is not part of the national reform movement. Um, so where math and reading and science and technology are, and I don't want to take anything away from them because they're all important, writing has not been a major player in terms of the reform movement so it's not getting emphasized in schools when we take a look at what teachers say they do in terms of teaching writing we see very little writing actually going on in schools and very little instruction orientated or devoted to writing time so what are some of the things you're finding in your research that teachers can do to improve writing okay. one of the things we've been trying to do in the last couple of years is draw together research-based or evidence-based practices for teaching writing, things that we know are effective. One of the primary findings is that explicitly and directly teaching kids how to plan, revise, uh, how to construct paragraphs, and how to generate sentences and more complex sentences is critical to becoming a good writer. A second thing is, is that teaching kids how to set goals for what they're going to write and letting kids know what you expect in their writing makes a big difference. We've also found that word processing can improve uh, children's writing. Not a big deal, not a big surprise because kids can move text easily, they're often more motivated to work on a word processor or work with a computer and um, another thing is you often have things bundled into that uh, like spell checkers and so forth that help you write better. We've also found that letting kids know what they do right, you know, giving them positive feedback on the attributes of their writing that are really done well makes a big difference for these kids. So do you think it makes a difference if they're actually physically writing it out or typing on a computer? I don't think that's really the issue. Um, it doesn't really matter if you're typing it or you're writing it. Uh, we want to be sure that kids get those skills that I talked about, those kind of processes, planning, revising, good sentence construction skills, etc. Now that's not to take anything away from the word processor because those things like the ability to move text around and spell checkers, etc. can make a difference. But once you become a skilled writer, it probably doesn't make that much difference in terms of using word processing versus handwritten. Uh, it's just a lot easier to use the word processor. But for young kids as they're developing, that word processing can make a difference. Now it seems like those things that you talked about are something that maybe is focused on more in elementary school but not so much in the upper schools. Have you noticed that? Okay. One of the things that we just recently completed was a national um, survey of high school teachers and we asked language arts, science, and social studies teachers what they did in terms of teaching writing. Um, the disappointing news here is that there's very little writing going on. Uh, when we took a look at the most common writing activities that kids are asked to do at the high school level, three of the most commons were fill in the blank, um, generating list, and doing a short response on nightly homework in terms of like a sentence or two. It was very rare for kids to compose more than a single paragraph. In fact, that was probably happening less than once a month or maybe, maybe even less than twice a month. So one of the issues is that kids are just simply not writing. Uh, are writing enough. Another thing that we found is that there was very little teaching of writing. So the expectation is, is that if you go into science, you go into history classes, and if you think about something like persuasion, 
you learn to write persuasive texts for social studies, for science, for language arts. They differ a little bit in each of those areas. So an expectation is, is that teachers in those domains will teach those skills. And we saw very little evidence of that as well. Hmm. And how do you think they can fix that? Do you think there will be some kind of federal mandate or something that will happen to bring this back in? Well, one of the things that seems to make a big difference in the reform movement is holding schools accountable for students' performance in areas like reading, math, science, technology, etc. That really hasn't happened to the same degree in writing. And so I think that's going to be a key element in terms of making writing a major player in terms of the reform effort. Uh, if schools and teachers are held accountable, they're more likely to teach these skills. A second issue is that when we ask both elementary and also high school teachers about their preparation to teach writing, it was very discouraging. Um, not so much at the elementary level, but really at the high school level. So at the elementary level, about a third of the teachers indicated that they were not well prepared to teach writing. They described their writing as inadequate or almost non-existent. When we moved to the high school level, 70% of teachers, language arts, science, and social studies, indicated their preparation at the college level was inadequate. And when we asked them about all of their preparation, you know, what they did, what their schools did with them, one out of two teachers still said that preparation was inadequate. Wow. Were you surprised when you heard that? or Not so surprised at the high school level um, because a lot of teachers don't uh, receive any instruction uh, as college students in terms of doing this, at least in terms of that initial 70%. I was a bit surprised when one out of every two teachers continued to say, even through their own efforts and their school efforts, um, that they were not well prepared. The elementary level was more of a surprise, even though the numbers look better. You really expect that all teachers at the elementary level, because most of those go through a teacher preparation program, are going to be well prepared to teach writing. So do you think in that high school level they're not writing as many essays because it takes longer to grade? Or do you think, you know, what, what do you think the cause is of this? I think you hit, I think you hit that right on the nail. Um, one of the things that happens at the high school level when uh, myself and my other colleagues make recommendations that we need to increase maybe as much as double to triple the amount of writing going on uh, at the high school level is teachers say, I don't have enough time to grade these papers or to give feedback on that. Uh, our basic response is you don't have to give feedback on everything. So if kids are keeping a journal about science experiments, it's not necessary to go through and give feedback on all that material. That's meant to help you learn. Also, there's another ready source for feedback in the classroom, and that's students' peers. They can give feedback to each other, and there's considerable evidence that that makes a difference. Another issue is that teachers have competing demands. So even the language arts teachers at the high school level were not doing a lot of writing instruction, although they were clearly doing more than social studies and science teachers, but that's because they're also teaching literature and other content as well. And so there's this tension uh, for high school teachers in terms of how to get writing into play and to make a difference with it. So what are some suggestions of things parents could do, perhaps, other than assigning things to their kids, but the ways parents could help with okay. this? In terms of thinking about parents, I'm going to really focus in on younger kids because I think that's where it's important to start even before they come to school. One of the things that parents can do is have their kids uh, see the parent as a writer. So write, bring it to your child's attention, do writing activities with your child. If your child produces something, take the time to listen to it, uh, comment on it in a positive way. Uh, as they move into the school years, show an interest in terms of uh, the child's writing, ask them to share with you. Um, simple skills like handwriting often begin at home. So making sure that the kids can hold pencils correctly, show them how to form letters, in an appropriate fashion that's efficient and very easy to do. Those are some very simple things that parents can do. So I'm thinking about my own experience and I remember writing lots of essays and having creative writing Fridays and things like that. Is this something that has evolved and changed over the years or what have you noticed? So one of the things about your own personal experience is that it may have been reflective of when you were in school or it may have been idiosyncratic to where you were at. So when we talk about these national surveys or when I talk about these national surveys, 
there's individual teachers that are doing quite a bit and we should never take anything away from them. But what we see as a whole is that there's very little writing going on. And so when I say we had, on average, uh, students writing multiple paragraphs once or twice a month at the most, uh, some of these kids aren't doing that uh, but once or twice a year, and some kids are not doing it at all. It's interesting, too, when you think about the new, I don't know if it's the SAT or ACT test, where they want to move towards writing more essays and having less fill-in-the-blank. So, I mean, this is a skill that is essential. Well, and that's one of the reasons for the writing uh, portion of the new SAT is that that's an attempt by colleges to try to get high schools and hopefully junior high schools and elementary schools uh, to focus more in on writing. Uh, I really think, though, it needs to start at a very young level. If we can get in and do a great job there, then we increase the likelihood that as kids go through the educational system, they're going to be good writers, and they're going to use writing to help them learn. Great. Is there anything else that you wanted to talk about in your study that we didn't address? Um, there are a couple of things. Okay. Uh, one of the surprising findings, I mentioned earlier that word processing and technology tools um, can be a great benefit to writing especially for developing writers. But when we ask teachers about their use in schools, it's the least likely thing to be used, uh, except, it's, it, it ranks right up there, uh, except with talking to parents about kids' writing. There's very little communication going on back and forth between uh, teachers and parents, and right hanging in there with them, there's very little use of technology. Now, I don't think uh, teachers are at fault for this. Schools simply do not have the hardware to make this possible. If you walk into most classrooms anywhere in this country, you're lucky if you see one or two computers, so it's very unlikely, at least in school, that word processing or computer technology can play a role in terms of writing. Mm -hmm. I think a second thing that is critical, and I mentioned this earlier, is we need to do a better job of helping teachers learn to teach writing, and also uh, to help ensure that they're enthusiastic and motivated about it. Um, over the last 30 years, I've taught courses on reading and writing at different universities, and I always ask my classes, how many of you like to teach, how many of you like to read and are enthusiastic about it? Every hand in the class goes up of these uh, young people who are learning to be teachers. When I ask the same thing about writing, I'm lucky if a fourth to a third uh, of the hands go up, and um, that's problematic. If they're not excited about writing, why should their kids be?